I'm a beautiful family and welcome to another one of my videos. Well, you already see over there my ring light for my iPhone that I got. It's standing there. Sorry if it bothers you, but it's a little bit of kind of messy home background. But I'm here today very early in the morning. It's actually not even nine o'clock. 8.53 and I want to try this foundation. This is the Clinique Even Better Clinical Serum Foundation with SPF 20. This is a new foundation from Clinique and well, there is a couple of things we need to discuss. If you want to see me trying out this the whole day on my oily combination skin then please keep on watching. Guys, I never tried products from Clinique. I maybe I did, I did try kind of a couple of years ago skincare, and I remember also that I tried a blush that I really liked too. But I haven't tried any any other makeup products from Clinique, and I always wanted to try because I always heard good stuff about the products. But then this launched, and I purchased it. And I did purchase it a couple of uh, weeks, I think, could it be two weeks ago, something like that. And now I have a chance to sit down and try it. I didn't hear anything about this foundation. I think I went on the website and looked for moisturizer and then I saw this in, and immediately I want to buy it. But I did watch a couple of videos and um, then I went on the website to see there's been a discussion about the share range they have and unfortunately unfortunately they are not enough deeper shades which is I, I can't even understand why brands keep on doing this not putting enough shades for everybody I just I don't know did they live under a stone or something because there is a discussion about that in society on YouTube on internet everywhere where we want all skin to be able to buy from all of the brands so I don't get what the problem is but I already bought it and I know some people really like it so I'm, I'm going to review review it on my channel but I just want to put out my thoughts that I'm very disappointed disappointed in brands and even in clinics that they didn't release more shades but maybe they will do in future I don't know I ho hope they will take this uh, critique from other I mean they never going to watch my video but probably they are going to watch somebody else's where this discuss the same thing but this is allergy tested 100% fragrance free the skin perfecting cover coverage of a foundation with the transform trans transforming power of a serum visible rest restores skin instantly and over time with good for skin ingredients like vitamin c hyaluronic acid and all also provide sun protection weightless buildable full coverage second setting finish i do like these kind of serum foundations with full coverage they usually work for me so i'm going to go in with this i got it in shade C and 10 alabaster and I hope really hope that this will match, match me because I actually went on Sephora's website not Swedish Sephora they don't have that opportunity to you know shade match I went to Sephora US and they actually when I took that test or I don't know tried to find my shade what came out is a deeper shade than this and then I watched a couple of videos and I thought that well that will be a little bit too too dark for me so I went with this shade hopefully this will work like I said C and 10 alabaster and this is the packaging I think the packaging is awesome I think it's very cute beautiful packaging uh, so we are going to try it on I don't have anything I do have my moisturizer on and I am going to film another video trying other face products. So I'm just going to try foundation on this one. But I do want to prime my face. And I am going to go in with my Hourglass Primer. Because I know how this works. I've tried this on my channel hundreds of times with different foundation. And I know how it's going to look. And I do want to go in with my Tarte Smoothing Primer. 
pore filling just to fill in my pores a little bit I feel like I need they are huge <laughs> which is normal but I don't want them to be that visible so let's go in I know what's wrong with my voice I didn't finish my coffee so I still have it here with me let's go I'm going to use beauty sponge because I do like using beauty sponge with this kind of foundations uh, we can try with the brush too on the other side so it's very liquidy is it a pump or wait I'm confused I don't remember yes it's a pump I'm kind of stupid <laughs> let's go in with a sponge on one side and we will try yeah, it's kind of thicker thicker serum foundation oh this looks nice the shade is maybe a little bit lighter than I would like but we are going to make it work it's not too bad and it goes on I can't even feel it on my skin it feels like I don't have any foundation on like I'm not applying any foundation it's actually why did I break out here that's strange it feels like um, I'm just passing around the beauty blender on my skin do you have a friend over here that's been bothering me a couple of days this is beautiful I mean it looks very very nice on the skin so it dries down fast not fast fast you know but it, it does dry down it doesn't feel sticky it looks very nice it looks like my skin but better actually the shade is not too bad could be better but it's not too bad nothing that I can't work with but this is one side and that looks very nice you have to be honest look guys big transformation let's go with a sponge not sponge what do what's wrong with me let's go with a brush and I'm going to go in in do care brush put a pump up there let's see if we can this going on nice with a brush too though it does leave some streaks so I'm no with these serum foundations I do prefer sponges I mean, it looks it looks nice it looks more like a matte satin finish it looks good but I'm kind of curious how, how this will look on dry skin because it looks matte and it looks like it's going to set it into fine lines but maybe not we'll see so far so good um, I'm going to go in a little bit with a concealer I'm going to go in with this truly yours dark circle concealer from Joa Beauty this looks really really nice I mean it looks good it looks like my skin but it looks matte so for oily skin I think this is looking really really good especially on my oily teeth and it sits very nice on my nose and usually that almost never happens for some reason my nose doesn't like foundations but it looks really good the, the concealer blended beautifully on top and it feels light I can't even feel it on my skin so that's good it's medium coverage I, can't, I won't say it's full full coverage because there is a couple of you know my marks birthmark that you can see through here but it's not bothering me it looks pretty good uh, I don't know I don't think I want to build it up because I have a feeling if I build it up it's going to look cakey and that's not what I want so this is kind of looking really nice really nice I do like it so far so I'm going to go in and finish my makeup and fin film that other video but it's, I just want to show you it's 9.06 in the morning a.m. and I'm going to finish this makeup look and I'll be back to 
you know, see how everything went and then we'll do a couple of check-ins during the day. So guys, I'm back and I need to, I played with some new makeup guys and I do need to take off the swatches from my hand before I show my hands, but I think it looks really good, the foundation. It's, uh, let me show you my, where's my phone? It's now 9.47 and I've been having it on for around a half an hour and maybe more, no more, about 40 minutes. I think it was 9.06 when I went to film the second video. Okay, and this is the final look. Uh, let's just do, I used all um, cream products today, which maybe not the best thing, you know, when you try a new foundation, but I got plenty of new products from Makeup Mecca that I tried out. So I'm going to set a little bit my makeup with this brush from Duke, Duke Care. I have a video with this brush collection and I do use it. Just want to set more my T-zone because I usually crease or get very oily during the day on my nose and here. So I do want to modify this a little bit. I didn't want to do that in that video because I used all of the cream products and I really like how glow it looks. But if I were going to give this foundation a um, chance, I'm going to use my natural or my usual routine. So now I set a little bit with this powder. This is Makeup Mecca, what's cooking, good looking, setting and baking powder. I like this powder. Uh, and this is how it looks. It looks really good. Uh, I don't know what happened here on my nose. I don't know if you can see. Uh, it kind of looks a little bit cakey or streaky, just a little bit here, but everything else looks really, really good. What's wrong with my lighting? Uh, but everything else looks really, really good. I'm going to comb, comb through my hair because I didn't do that, so it looks a little bit messy. But I um, wanted to do a check-in, and this is how it looks. If you want to see what I'm having on my the rest of my face, the makeup, that video will come up this week after this video. So check, wait for that. It's coming up. But... I really like everything else. The cream blush went on beautifully, the cream bronzer went on beautifully, the cream highlighter went on beautifully. Everything went on this foundation very nice. It do, does look mad though. And I, if you have dry skin, I'm not really sure how this is going to work. I have to be honest because I do have texture on my skin, you know, small wrinkles and it exaggerates them a little bit. It, my skin looks good, but it's still, you know how matte foundations can look sometimes? That's the feeling I have right now. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't really look like uh, t terrible. It just looks more matte than I'm used to when I use the uh, serum foundations. I tried like one of the best serum foundations is Catrice serum foundations. I love that one and that looks more moisturizing, more skin looking. This kind of dries down more matte but it's not bad uh, but I will definitely not build it up I have to be honest. And with the powder it does look a little bit dry but my oils will come through like in just a couple of minutes. But I'm going to do a check-in. So far, so good. I really like, I like how my makeup looks. And I'm very happy that the liquid products didn't remove my... Or creamy products. <laughs> Cream products didn't remove my foundation. So I'm very happy with it. And really like how everything looks. So I'm going to go with my day. And I'll do a check-in and let you know at the end of the day how everything looks. So see you soon. So family, welcome back. It's now 6.15 p.m. and I've been having it on since 9 this morning. Around 8-9 hours and I really want to remove this foundation and I'll uh, tell you why. Look, I need to come closer so you can see. I don't know, I did have a mask on because I had a doctor's appointment today and I had my mask on for around 40 minutes. When I removed it, some of the foundation of course removed here 
but look at this disaster how dry and textured and cakey and terrible this looks my forehead looks very good the forehead looks good but the rest of the face is a disaster and my hair also looks like a disaster i was taking a nap rest of the makeup looks really good um i like the new product that i tried that video is going up also my eyeshadow is stayed and i'm so happy with that i tried some new products for makeup uh, makeup mecca and i didn't I was almost sure that the eyeshadow won't work for me, but they did. So check out that video if you're interested to see what I'm talking about. But this foundation looks very good on my forehead, but the rest of the face looks terrible. It looks so terrible. Oh my god, I can't wait to remove it. This is the... No, I'm disappointed. Even here on my ears where I apply a little bit of the foundation, that looks so dry and oh my... And I didn't even apply a lot of powder, which is surprising. Usually when I use a lot of powder, my foundation will look like this, but I didn't even use a lot of powder, but look how terrible this, I can't even watch myself. I need to remove this. Uh, I'm very disappointed, I have to say, with this foundation. I don't like it, I don't recommend it. I'll try it with the different, uh, of course, with different primers, but so far I'm very, very unhappy with this. I will mix it together with the others. It sounds really good, it looked really good. I mean, the packaging and the shade was really good, but the foundation is not good at all. And if it's supposed to be even better than the old version, um, then I'm glad I didn't try the old version. But th that's my opinion. I know some people really, really love this foundation. I know some people are very happy to have it. I'm disappointed, so it doesn't really work on my oily skin. It kind of breaks uh, apart. And uh, right now when we're in a pandemic and wear masks a lot of times, I don't want to look like this shit when I remove my mask. I'm sorry. This looks like, um, no, no, um, I look terrible and I don't like this feeling and I don't like this look. But the rest of the makeup, I really like it. You need to watch that video. I'm really surprised with the rest of the makeup, the blush, the highlight, the eyeshadow. Um, that looks really good, but the foundation is a mess. But guys, please let me know down below if you tried any foundations from Clinique. Did you try this one? Do you want to try this one? Did you hear anything about it? Did you use it in a wrong way? Is there a better way to use it with a better primer? Let me know down below. I'm very curious. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and i see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.